So you may remember back in the pandemic when people were frenzy buying houses and they were waiting everything, especially their home inspections. And they were doing this in order to try and give them a leg up during that in crazy frenzy time in real estate here, especially in Arizona. So now that those days are mostly behind us, and those quick sales are kind of gone, cutting corners and all those kinds of things is kind of going out the window as we're returning to a more normalized market here. So buyers are once again requesting that they be able to do their home inspections to ensure that they understand what kind of a house that they are purchasing and that they're getting the most out of their money as well. So what does that mean for you, the seller? That's what we're going to be discussing in today's video. What to expect when you're inspecting. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie Evans, owner and lead agent of the Living 48 Real Estate Team. And we are so Glad to have you back at another one of our little weekly videos here. And today we're talking about inspections. Yes, they're back. Yes, they're important. And let's dive right in and talk about them and what they mean for you specifically as the seller. So as the seller, why is the inspection important? Well, first and foremost, it really helps your buyer, helps them to avoid unpleasant discoveries and surprises down the road. So can you just put yourself in the buyer's shoes for just a hot minute and imagine you purchase a home and all of a sudden you understand, you, you come to find out once you've closed the home and the home is yours, that there's a foundation issue or there's a plumbing issue or there's an electrical issue or the air conditioning doesn't work properly and we're in the middle of summer. So not only is that bad for them, it actually could be really bad for you as well. If there was something that you knew about, you didn't disclose it, and they discovered it post-closing. So inspections are actually a great thing, and they protect both parties. So as a seller, how should you prepare for a home inspection? Great, great question. So first of all, according to recent data, about 95% of all home buyers request to have a home inspection. And because of those home inspections, about 67% of them end up requiring some sort of repair towards your house. It's a pretty significant number. So as the seller, there's a couple of things that you can do to prepare for that and maybe even alleviate some of those requested repairs. So the first thing that you can do is you can understand what the inspector is going to be looking for. They're going to be looking for things like your AC system, your HVAC system, your heating system, all working properly. Is the air conditioning working with proper splits? Um, is everything insulated properly? All those kind of things. They're going to be looking for that. They're going to be looking for structural structural concerns uh, like cracks in the foundations. Um, they may even be looking for pests like termites and other wood destroying insects, um, plumbing, electrical things, all the things that you know, and the roof. Those are the main things that they're going to be looking for. So it's important to make sure that those main things are taken care of before the inspector comes walking through. So the first thing that you can do to sort of prepare for that preparation is you can have your agent walk the house with you. The agent's gonna be noting things that they see. And if you are super, super honest with your agent and let them know about, well, this happened or this has happened or we made this repair or the roof is this old or the hot water heater is this old and we had this problem with that. There's a lot that the agent can help you focus in on. And we can take care of some of those potential problems before the inspector ever even sets foot in your house. In fact, maybe even before a potential buyer steps foot in your house. So why would that be important? Well, it makes a good impression on the inspector when they can tell that you've already taken care of a few things most recently. And it also makes your, makes your property, your home, more appealing to potential buyers when your agent can let them know that some of these things are, are done. So the very, very least, when the inspector comes to your house, you want to make sure that it's clean, show-ready quality, and that you can show all the repairs and updates that you have done most recently to the inspector so that they have that as a reference point as well. So in closing, remember, Home inspection isn't meant to be a pass-fail test. It is not a bad thing. It is simply that the 
buyer is looking for an outside resource to help them understand the good, the bad, the ugly, everything about the house that they're considering to purchase. If issues are found, it doesn't necessarily mean that the sale is going to fall apart or that it will fall through. It means it gives us an opportunity, the seller and the buyer, to come back to the negotiation table, renegotiate a new win-win for all parties involved, and then move you forward to the closing of that property. You guys, if you have any questions on inspections or anything else surrounding the home buying or home selling process, we want you to reach out to us directly. Put your questions in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please go over and visit our website. We're there at www.living48realestate.com. And you can connect with us there. You can connect with us on so all of our social media platforms. But go ahead and let us know what questions can we answer for you and how can we best be a resource for you. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you on our next weekly video.